Welcome to the Know Yourself channel where making astrology known and understandable is the number one priority. I'm the Scottish astrologer and in this video I talk about the super moon and lunar eclipse in Leo coming on the 21st of January and the visible conjunction of Venus and Jupiter in Sagittarius just before sunrise on the 22nd of January the next day. Now, in this video, I will explain the meaning of a lunar eclipse and also how this eclipse will personally affect you all individually based on your natal charts. So yeah, we have a decent couple of astronomical, astrological events coming on the 21st and 22nd of this month. On the 21st at around 5.16 in the morning, we will see a super wolf moon as it's known and a lunar eclipse and then venus and jupiter come within a 2.4 degree conjunction which will be visible just before sunrise on the 22nd okay so eclipses are all about change the area of life in which the change will occur for you personally is determined by which house on your natal chart happens to hold the location of where the eclipse is taking place. So for example, this lunar eclipse takes place at 0 degrees 52 seconds of Leo. And so whichever house on your natal chart has 0 degrees 52 seconds of Leo within it, that is the area of life where this change will occur. Now, the eclipse may also land on a planet on your natal chart. If so, this planet will be activated, okay, and working combined with the house location to show the change, okay. Now, the effects brought on through a lunar eclipse are made all the more potent when we have a super moon like this one, like we do in this case. Now, the zodiac sign in which the eclipse occurs also plays a part in the type of change that will occur. And as this eclipse takes place in the zodiac sign of Leo, we are talking changes of heart, challenge to leadership in some way, or change to leadership, or challenge or change to ego. Now, this of course will manifest on the world stage, okay? So look out for that. Change, challenge the leadership, okay? Changes of heart, look for this world stage. But, of course, this will also manifest and be seen in our individual lives. So please, if you have your natal chart at hand, look at your natal or birth charts and see which house 0 degrees 52 seconds of Leo is located. Now, if this lands in your ascendant or first house, the change will be directed towards or related to appearance, personality, or how others perceive us. If in the second house, then related to wealth, money, material goods. If in the third house, communication, siblings, intelligence or knowledge you have. If in the fourth house, then the change will be related to the family or the home. If in the fifth house, the change will be related to love, pleasure, hobbies, children. If in the sixth house, health, daily work or daily life. If in the seventh house, the change will be related to marriage or partnerships, contracts or associations. If in the eighth house, death, transformation, sexuality or battles. If in the ninth house, spirituality, philosophy, higher learning, law, legality, religion or travels. If in the 10th house, the change will relate to career, social success, destiny, success in business or fame. 
if in the 11th house, friends, projects, protections, happiness. And last, but surely not least, if in the 12th house, then enemies, fears, addictions, difficulties, secrets, dreams, sleep, or ordeals. So please check your chart and be aware of the area to be affected for you personally. Okay, moving on. The very next morning at 5.30 roughly, on the 22nd of January, look east to where the sun rises and you will get to see the most beautiful of sights for a short time until the sun does rise. You can witness a close conjunction of Venus and Jupiter, Aphrodite and Zeus, together in the sign of Sagittarius. Now, Jupiter rules the sign of Sagittarius, so his effects are greater, okay? Jupiter is the planet of expansion, okay? Abundance, worth, and together with Venus, who is a planet of love, intoxication, and beauty. And being together, the two benefics in the sign of Sagittarius, which is primarily about reaching the highest of spiritual attainment. Hopefully, this will give us, being humanity, okay, both physically, spiritually, and figuratively, a great light in the darkness, which we could do with having at this pivotal and most important time in our history so yeah two events to keep your eyes to the skies for this january 21st and 22nd okay folks that's all for this video a huge thanks for watching happy new year please like share subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell at the right hand side of the subscribe button until next time folks take care